What's up again, YouTube? Well, today I'm working on my truck. Feels like there's air in the lines, and the brakes are kind of shaking every time I press the pedal down, and I can't seem to figure out why. I bled all four brakes, and all four of them came out with perfect fluid, no problems, and I still have a shake. I did a search on Google and tried to figure out how to figure out which rotor it is, and I found a couple results. I could try to diagnose it with a dial indicator, but I'm a regular person, so I don't have a dial indicator. I'm gonna go around and one at a time, vice grip the hoses shut on each one of the calipers one at a time and drive it and see if the shaking goes away. If the shaking goes away, then that's a rotor that's causing all the shaking. All you need is a set of vice grips, just as a little bit of padding. I put some tape on them because they're brake hoses, they're rubber, and I didn't want them to tear. So I'm going to crawl under the truck and pinch one of the brake hoses shut and go from All right, so here's the brake hose that goes to the driver's side rear caliper. I'm just going to clamp it shut, zip tie it down to something, and that way it doesn't fall off while I'm trying to drive. And then we'll take it for a ride and see if the shaking gets any better. All right, time to take it for a drive. All right, we're gonna come to a stop here and see how it goes. And... Well, that was really shaky. That was pretty shaky. All right, I'm back. We took it for a drive and nothing really seems to have changed. It's still pretty shaky. So we're gonna try the other rear wheel and see how that goes. Since we didn't get any good results from doing it on the first one, we're gonna try the passenger side rear caliper. We're gonna clamp the hose shut and see if, uh, see if we get a better result. Hopefully clamping this one shut will make the brake stop shaking. And there we go. We're gonna take it for a drive now. We just clamped the hose shut on the rear passenger side brake caliper. So the rear passenger side brake caliper won't be working and we'll see if it's still shaky when it stops. All right, we'll come to a stop and see how it goes. All right, so right back to where we started. So it turns out the rear passenger side brake caliper is not the shaky one. Okay. Well, so far, we clamped the brake hoses on both of the rear brakes. Didn't really get a lot of results. Um, everything seems just about the same. So we're gonna try clamping the brake hoses shut on the front brakes. Now we're gonna take a shot at clamping the, uh, clamping the brake hose on the front driver's side and see if we can get the shaking to go away this time. Time to take it for a drive. All right, I just clamped the front driver's side caliper hose shut. So we're gonna take it for a drive. We're gonna see if the shaking goes away. But so far, we're over two. All right, and we're over three. All right, so we finally made it to the fourth wheel. This is the front passenger side wheel. By now you'd think I'd be tired of being under this truck all day, but I have a Nissan, so I'm used to being under this truck all day because it's always broken. That one's ready to go. Time to take it for a drive. All right, coming to stop. And it's pulling pretty hard left, but the shaking is gone. Got it all figured out. The front passenger side brake rotor is the bad one. It took four tries, but we finally figured out which one's the bad one. So all we gotta do, buy a new front brake rotor. I guess we'll have to get some new pads too. Change them out and we should be good to go. 
All right, YouTube. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that works for you as well as it worked for me. Make sure to hit like or subscribe.